Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to night number 10 out of my 13 nights of fright. You guys, we're seeing the finish line. It is there, only three more nights to go. Now, if you are new, consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a like. It truly does help the channel out. I would also appreciate it if you can help me hit that 400 uh, little mark there. We're almost there, you guys, we're pretty close. It's also there like I could see it tonight. We're gonna be talking about 1982's John Carpenter's The Thing. Now this is actually a remake from 1951 of The Thing from Another World and that was adapted from the 1938 novel Who Goes There? Now there is another The Thing movie that came out in 2011, so not that many years ago. I also have not seen that movie, so maybe next year I'll incorporate it within this series as well. Although that movie is technically a prequel to this movie. Now I'm gonna let you guys know right now. This movie is by far the scariest movie. Well, it is the scariest movie because at this point I have seen all 13 movies that I'm gonna be reviewing, which is a first time watch. All of the movies within my within this series are first time watches. And this was the scariest damn movie that I saw, you guys. Like it really was. In The Thing, we are in deep Antarctica. We're stranded somewhere. Well, I guess we're not necessarily stranded. We're scientists in Antarctica doing scientific deals. We eventually do get stranded, you guys, because like everything gets destroyed because we mustn't let the thing escape this location, this hub, this claustrophobic area that we are in now because if it is released into the world, humanity as we know it may cease to exist in a couple years. I think they said three years because we are dealing with this life form from another planet that replicates you to the last little mole scar everything that you may have last little gray hair as i have it's like a doppelganger kind of deal i don't know you guys but the thing with this movie is that you don't know who the thing is or what the thing is there's never an actual form of the thing like it's always somebody you're catching it like in the midst of transformation after transformation it's kind of dead whatever but it's never an actual thing like you there's nothing there really for you to fear fear like an actual thing so that makes it like way more scarier and creepier you guys because not just the 12 men at this hub station deal they don't know but us as the audience we don't know who's infected and who is who and who is this thing that is now no longer that person but has been taken and replicated to this last little mole or scar or gray hair. I'm going to tell you guys the first little scene of this movie. And I'm going to give you guys any spoilers as far as like the rest of the movie goes. Like who survives, who dies, who's the thing, who's not the thing and all that other good stuff. We may say some things, but not everything. Okay. I'm going to talk about the first part because there's a dog involved, you guys. Yeah, I already know how I feel about these damn animals in movies. Like, yeah, I can kill all the damn people. The opening sequence. We're in Antarctica again because we're like scientists doing scientific things. And there's this helicopter like chasing this dog, this um, like Alaskan husky. That Norwegian guy that's up there, terrible shot because he's just like shooting away at this dog that's there, like running away. Never, never shoots it, you guys. Terrible shot, you know. But I'm just like, why are you shooting this dog? What did this dog do to you? And then I'm like, okay, maybe that dog is the thing. Like, are we already starting this way? Like, remember, like, the other movies that we've talked about, like the old G movies, it gets straight to the point. There's no, and the same thing here, you guys. We see the thing as a dog deal. But I was like, is it a thing? Is it not? Like, are you just crazy? Are you just, like, maybe you just think the thing is in this dog, but it's really not, and you're trying to kill this poor defenseless dog? Like, how dare you? But no, he wasn't crazy. The thing was in the dog, you guys. The thing was in the dog. So if you follow me on my social media, well, basically Instagram, that's where you're going to find me at all the times. You would have saw a little behind the scene when I was watching this and I was asking people about the damn dog. Like, do I fear for the dog? Like, am I supposed to, like, have my heart broken when the dog dies? Like, does the dog die? Does it survive? You guys, multiple dogs die in this movie. Like, when the like, people die, I'm like, whatever. But, like, the dogs? They were so scared, you guys. Also, like, shout out to this dog because, like, this is a damn good acting dog. Like, I think it's one of the best. Besides, like, Airbud, you know, or, well, Beethoven didn't do it, but, like, Airbud, like, Airbud was doing some cooked, 
like this video if you remember her, but man, those are some awesome movies that are like nostalgia right here. Okay, anywho. But like I said, we never know who the thing is at any particular point until it's revealed that that person or the animal was the thing. So that means that this movie is very much indeed dealing with paranoia. We're dealing with trust. I mean, mind you, these 12 men, I think that's what I said earlier, 12 men, have been isolated so we're also dealing with isolation very suspenseful you guys because again you're like oh my god like who left by themselves who's been gone the longest who is no longer who they said they are you are in for a ride and let me get into the special effects you guys well the practical effects because let me tell you Man, there's nothing like this damn practical effect. They still hold up to this day. I mean, yeah, some of them, some of the stuff is outdated. Some of it is like more on the cheesy factor. But like for the majority, it like still works. Like they did like top notch, especially for that time period. But the fact that those effects can still get your nail. Like I got scared, you guys. Like I'm telling y'all, like I was like, oh. Which makes it even better for the actors because they actually have something in front of them that they're reacting to. Not like a tennis ball with little dots not like a green screen with dots all over no 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 now john carpenter the director again did really love the 50s version the original movie he it's one of his favorite movies he loved the short um story that it that was based off of the only issue um, that he said was that the 50s movie wasn't officially true to the original story so he wanted to make that original story now this movie unfortunately when it did first come out it did very poorly in theaters it was received terribly by the critics one of the reasons that it also did very poorly in theaters was because there was another alien movie out during that time period very beloved alien movie maybe not as gory as it well not as gory more family friendly that everybody loved you know it's a it's a little movie called et maybe you've heard of it you know who knows um, another movie that was also um out during this time was that blade runner movie but that movie also didn't do well when it came out either but now those two movies are like great like top-notch known movies i haven't seen blade runner so i can you know that'll be a first time watch at some point for me but the fact that back in the day was very disregarded hated terrible you know critiques and then now it's just like this big classic movie this iconic horror movie which i totally agree you guys this is a fantastic horror movie that's not like i mean it scared me but like i'm ready to rewatch this i'm not even like a huge horror movie like i said many times i know i'm doing like a whole halloween series or whatever but i don't like you know i've said this many times but we won't go into that but this with a one-time watch has made it up there because it's like i loved it you guys i really really did so before i do give you my last few thoughts and my score of course if you haven't yet give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet hit that uh, notification bell that way you don't miss the remaining three days of this uh, series don't forget to follow me on my social media you can kind of get to know me there a little bit better get a little bit behind the scenes i don't just post movie stuff there you guys it is like my own personal that's why you don't see i'll buy the popcorn on my name because it's really like a uh, just everything so john carpenter's the thing it is the only movie out of the 13 movies that I saw this year that actually spooked me, it has made it into like that top tier horror movie love for it. Direction was great. I love the story. I love the performances. Kurt Russell, he does star in this movie. He's very, very handsome looking. Kurt Russell here, you guys. If you haven't guessed already, it is gaining a large popcorn. Like I said, I've been giving these large popcorns left and right, but there's just just so many good movies this year you guys last year since it was like a last minute deal to that series i didn't fully pick movies out right i mean i did a lot of weird ass movies you guys like i could check out that series i'll hit, hit put that playlist up here all right guys if you've seen 1982's the thing john carpenter's masterpiece is hard deal that was hated back in the day but it's about love now let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you if you've never seen it are you like now really looking forward to see that i know halloween's coming to an end but you know it's never too late you can watch a spooky movie any time of year don't like restrict yourself to just like halloween time you guys don't do it watch it it's a great movie have you seen um the original 50s movie or have you seen the 2000 
11 the prequel to this is that worth a watch we are over there in the norwegian hub which is how this movie kind of started off with those people we do travel to that particular hub in this movie as well so we kind of see the official outcome of it but we're supposed to know what happened there maybe we'll see the damn dog there how it like took up and how it's taken off over there so yeah all right guys that was, those are my thoughts my score on the thing and that is the end of this video so i'll see you guys tomorrow bye